Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the free brand new character tool from the folks at Production Create. The folks at Production Create are known for their amazing set of assets that deals with both VFX, sound effects, graphics, AR, 3D, and also motion graphics. And for those who like to take a look at these, or possibly you like to explore tons of things that the folks at Production Create have to offer, you can simply go over to the link in the description that bring you right here where you can see this. Now, if you've been here before, you would notice that this is the brand new user interface. The previous one is still here, so you can simply switch back to what you previously know, but the brand new one seems to be a bit more simpler, is cleaner and nicer. So if you would like to find VFX stuff, you can find them right here. You can go through and check them out. Motion graphic stuff exists here, music, sound effects, and graphics. And for those looking for 3D and AR stuff, you can simply go over to the 3D section and you'll be able to find a ton of 3D stuff. So whether you're looking for 3D models, materials, environment, textures, you're definitely gonna find something pretty cool here. Now for the brand new character tool, you'll be able to find that if you go over to the tool section where you find character builder. At the same time, you'll be able to find that right here within the 3D section and click on the character builder. Either way, it's just gonna bring you to the character builder. Now, once you have that selected and launched, this is where things get pretty interesting. So. The way this approaches character creation is a bit more simplified and it just brings a bit of fresh breath to how characters get created. Now, the cool thing with this is you have three different kinds of character types that you can get started with. And depending on what you select, it changes the overall outcome of what you get to play with underneath, as this comes with a ton of presets that you can explore. So first off, we have the male athletic, and then we've got the female athletic, and we've got the skeletal warrior. So you can select any of these ones to get started. Now, something else which is also pretty interesting is, once we have this selected and we go over to the modular one, you notice that we've got stuff. If we change our outfit type to coverall, you notice it automatically changes. So any decision you make on the top influences everything that you get to find underneath. We can check out the same thing with the skeletal warrior. So once we have the dirty one, you notice that this is what we've got, open helmet. You notice we've got a couple of helmet types. If we go ahead and select the fancy helmet, you would notice that we've got a different kind of helmet type. So they do have like sub preset or should I say subcategories to every single selection that you do. And the same thing exists for the female one as well. So depending on what you get to select, you definitely notice that these changes every other thing underneath. And these characters look pretty clean. So if we go back to the male one and let's say we would like to create a modular character, you can have that selected. We can go over to the headwear and we can select any of the headwears that we want. And in this case, we're just simply going to say possibly we're going to go with the military helmet. That looks cool. And we can possibly change that to something like the SWAT one. And that looks you know, pretty cool as well. Actually, let's just make this tactical. So that makes more sense. So down to the shirt, we can now make changes for the shirt or should I call that the torso? And in this case, if we choose the t-shirt, you notice we have options underneath. If we select the coat, we've got options underneath. If we select the military vest, there are also options underneath. So for this one, I'm just simply going to go ahead and let's just get a military vest as well. And we're going to throw that in and possibly we're also gonna make some changes. Maybe we can make the change and change that to tactical. That looks cool. And we can also go all the way down and make some other changes too. And for the legs, we can choose what we want. So maybe we would like to go ahead and take a look at some military pants. And that looks that looks really cool. Might want to get the tactical one since we already started off with the tactical one right here. And this doesn't stop you from making changes to you know the overall look. You can mix and match, you know, create what you think best fits for your character. In this case, if you like to have, you know, if you want your character to have a bare fit, you can also choose to do that and you can just go ahead and have fun with it. You notice that when we switched from this, that the fit simply disappears. So this just works based on what you've got selected. And in terms of the skin tone, we've got three major types of skin tone. We've got the light, the medium chocolate and the dark chocolate. So depending on what your pick is, you can simply go ahead and have that selected. And once you have these things ready, you can now proceed to download this. Now, this is where things become a bit interesting. So for the download, you've got four different types of downloads that exist. The Unreal Pack, which comes with the first level of detail, so you can simply go ahead and explore that. Then we've got the FBX. For the FBX, there are two types, the DirectX and the OpenGL. This is specifically for Blender, while this is specifically for Maya. And all of these, 
do come in three different level of details. So depending on what you want, you can select that. The same thing can be said for the GLB file as well, and also for the Blender file. So if you like to use the FBX across various PCC tools, you can simply have that selected. However, if you just want to download a Blender file that you can use, then you can simply have that selected and hit the download button. Now, if you would like to see this animate prior to downloading this, this is also something that is possible. So if you go over to the animation section, you can click on the drop down and add your animation. You possibly will notice that I've got another one in bracket called yours jumping down. And this is because we initially loaded up a different animation altogether. By default, the animation that you have is the casual idle, which is pretty impressive. So you can have that and you can actually download with that one. Now, for those who are thinking about how can I throw in my own animation, possibly you would like to use your own animation to drive the character. This is possible. So in this case, what we did was go over to Mixamo, found the motion that we want, downloaded that motion without skin. And you know, that is pretty simple. So once you have that downloaded, you can now load that in here and automatically your character should be able to do whatever gymnastics or whatever animation that is embedded in that file. So in our case, what we have is the jumping down. So you can simply have that and use that for your project. But for this particular video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the casual one, which comes with this. And once we have that ready, we can simply select any of the file type that we want, make sure that we have the casual animation turned on, and we can select the level of detail file that we want to download the file. And now that we have the file downloaded, I'm just simply going to drag, drop, and click on open to bring that right inside of Blender. And you can see what we have. This looks really good. I mean, this looks really, really good. So you can see what we have clean stuff. Let's take a look at what the topology looks like because I know a lot of you guys will be itching to see that and you can see clean topo, really nice stuff. I think we're going to use this as a thumbnail. So this looks pretty cool. looks really, really nice. And for the animation, because we already baked in the animation earlier, we can press the playback button and that works. And this is running really, really nice. You can see what we've got here. Nice stuff. So if you're looking for another cool tool that you can use to create animations and, you know, characters, then you can simply rely on this and start doing that. Already, we did cover a couple of tools that you can use for real-time character animation. And I think this just adds up to the list of the ones that you can now consider, especially with the fact that this produces very clean topology and everything looks pretty nice. Of course, this is all thanks to the fact that most of these have been pre-baked and made ready. And of course, there are tons of things that are yet to come to this tool as this is continuously in development as the year proceeds. This is the first iteration of this character tool. And hopefully in subsequent weeks or even months, we'll get to see a much more bigger library of things that you'll be able to do with it. And the way this looks, this is only destined to become a much more nicer tool in the future. So this is it. For those who are thinking about exploring this, you can now simply come through and check this out. And of course, for pricing, a lot of you guys might be wondering, what does it cost to actually get started with this? Now, the cool thing with this one is at this point, if you like to explore it, you can simply get started with the sample version, which allows you to download about five characters per day. And I think that is actually fair price. Now, if you like to get the pro version, this is currently running for $49 and it offers about 50 different kinds of download per day. And this looks really cool. The fact that you have a tool that you can simply select stuff, make cool stuff, work with clean topology and generate nice stuff. This just makes this tool a valuable tool for you to have. And the fact that you totally have this for free to be able to download up to five characters per day is a steal. And of course, for those who like to take a look at this or possibly you like to grab it, try it, test it out, then links to this is definitely going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. A huge shout out to the folks at Production Create for making this one possible. And of course, if you're thinking about getting VFX stuff, motion graphic stuff, some music, some sound effects, some graphic stuff, you can come through and check out all of the things that they've got to offer. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.